not too many people get the chance to be put into a situation like this and, and be forced to rely on each other. All right, so the first item that I chose to bring, which was a very easy choice for me, is the bivy. This is what I'm gonna be using to keep my sleeping bag dry. If my sleeping bag gets wet, I'm kind of screwed out there, so this is a savior. The next item I chose to bring is the canteen. This is a 64 ounce, be able to like, transport water, also be able to boil water in this. It's not insulated, so I can stick it in the fire. So this should serve us pretty well. All right, so this is the third item I have chosen to bring. It's a collapsible bow saw, and it's a lot smaller and it's a lot lighter, and that's important to me because I'm gonna be using this on the hike. I've grown to really like this style of saw, so this one's definitely coming with me. This is the fourth item I've chosen to bring. It's a mid-size camp axe. We're gonna be pretty low on energy out there at some point. We're not gonna to wanna to be swinging a full-size axe, and we do have our saws, so we're bringing a mid-size, and we're keeping it shaving sharp so we can also use it for fine tasks. This is my fifth item. This is a very heavy weight 12 by 12 tarp. It's an 18 ounce, it's very, very thick. And this is an item that's gonna serve both my brother and I. This is a shelter for us, you know, if we need to get up off the ground. Even though we have our bivvies, an extra layer is always nice to have. It's just an insurance policy. All right, so the first item that I am bringing is a bivy bag. This is a waterproof cover for my sleeping bag. Same one that my brother has. Throw that in the bag. All right, so the second item that I am bringing is fishing line and hooks. We get 300 yards of fishing line and 25 assorted hooks, bringing some bigger size hooks and some smaller size hooks. That should serve us well out there with trout lines and just hand fishing and anything else we can do. So it's gonna go in the bag. All right, the third item I'm gonna be bringing is a two quart pot. Um, this is a pour spout, a bale, handles. It's a very nice pot, it's stainless steel, so I'm not gonna have any problems with any rust out there. The fourth item I am bringing out on a Vancouver Island is a cross-cut saw. This is a cross-cut saw with a fire hose sheath that we made. It has some big, nasty teeth on there. This thing should get the job done. All right, for our last item, we are bringing a small emergency ration. Um, having food out there is necessary. It's gonna be hard to get food and having this as a backup when times are tough is gonna be a huge help.